Macaruni Podcast. Hello, 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 everyone. This is the third episode of Macaroni Podcast. Rooney. Oh, okay. That was a bit awkward. Hello, where have you been? I was hiding, Andreas. <laughs> Why you was hiding for me? Please let me know. <laughs> Listen, this is the most amazing t-shirt you ever wear. Guys, I was forced to wear this. No, you were not forced <laughs> to wear it. We just agreed to wear white shirt. Is it yours, Rooney? So we are planning to have matching outfits. Andreas has this white singlet and I was like, that looks really good. I remember I bought one before, but I couldn't find it. So I went to my husband's house. Finally, we got one, but this is their mom's exercise singlet. Rooney, Rooney, you look really, really nice with that. <laughs> okay, so Andreas, what is our topic today? Our topic today is awkward moments. Sometimes life needs some awkward moments definitely you know in the awkward moment you can discover so many things about yourself would you want to start the podcast with your first awkward moment with us i remember the last uh, time i traveled it was a long flight i was flying to france okay the previous night i didn't sleep at all and someone sitting next to me i slept on his shoulder that happened really <laughs> yeah when i wake up i just see a big spot on his t-shirt with my saliva oh no no, yeah. was he sleeping too? No, 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 no. no. Didn't... He was awake and he was so kind. It was that oh. kind that he didn't say anything. I couldn't hide it. I was like, oh my God, oh, I'm really sorry. So cool. And he was, oh my boy, you look tired. So you can sleep. He was like 65 and he called me young boy. You see, I'm still young. Yes, <laughs> you are forever young, Andreas. Come on, <laughs> go for your awkward moment. I can't look at you, Rooney. I know that I said you have to get over it, but every time I'm watching your... <laughs> <laughs> T-shirt sure is like. Can you do the sound again? <laughs> oh, don't do this! Don't do <laughs> I had an awkward moment in the plane. I was sitting on the side, the flight attendant pushing the trolley. I was putting my hand like that. When he laid in, his pee pee was touching my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was Do like, you think he did it in purpose? No, I'm sure it was an accident. Because it happened to me the same thing, but in barber shop. And I think this barber did it on purpose. He did it so many times. And I was just moving my shoulder like this. At the point I was like, Okay, and then he stopped. I never go there again. I have another one in the plane too. This episode is dedicated to uh, awkward <laughs> moments in the plane. In we should plane. change the topic. Yeah. You know, every time when you go to the toilet in a plane... By the way, I turn. never went to this toilet. Why? I think I will stuck there. It's so small and I never believe people say that they had exercise in these toilets. Never. I believe never. it. Never. Because I, I, no, I no, saw no. some videos of it. In that toilet? Yeah. How? Uh, it's not I can't even move there. Even better because it makes two person closer. That's one of my fantasies. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm unlucky or I did something wrong in the past because every time when it's my turn, the toilet is just so dirty. France, I went there for a week and I didn't even go to toilet, Bruni. For number two... For a week? Because, yeah, for number two... Why? For a week. We were staying in a, like an Erasmus. It was the worst I ever saw in my life. I didn't even want to pee. I had a connected flight to Greece. I had only 40 minutes. I was running in the airport, like really running. <laughs> for number two? <laughs> Imagine my belly was like super... Uh, I don't I know was... how you can do it for a week. I need to do it every day. I was running. Uh -huh. in the airport and I just take some paper and I put it on the um, <laughs> on the seat there there were so many people in the toilet they heard me but I didn't care when I finished and I went out I was like hello guys <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Andreas something just came to my mind because you are talking about pooping long story short I need to poop on the first date. I was trying my best to be as silent as possible. I was playing you music. You were in the same room? I mean, yes, you were yes. in the same room? It's the same room. He was waiting outside and we talked a little bit when I was in the toilet. He was asking, like, everything okay? I was like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, don't worry. This is even more awkward if you're talking to the person who's outside. Like, everything okay there? <laughs> yes, everything okay. When I was pooping, I farted too. Oh my 
god, <laughs> it, it like, was a loud one. It yes, was like a bomb. He definitely heard it. I was like, oh my god. And, and when you go out, how will his face he action? He acted like nothing happens. And me too. Imagine to be in a room with no window running. I was working in the university coffee shop. I was about to deliver coffee. I went to the elevator and I was alone. So I decided to part. And then I heard the sound, ding, the headmaster of the university just getting the elevator. And the smell was terrible. And I was acting normally. Oh, no. I'm sure that everyone did that. When it's winter, you're under the blanket and then you fart. Some people want to smell it. And be honest, guys, I'm I'm sure that you do that. You mean you smell your own fart? You don't? <laughs> I did. <laughs> There is a doctor, he can smell your heart and tell you if you're sick or not. I don't know about the smell, but I know a specific doctor when they see your poop, they can mm -hmm. see what happens to you. The yeah, texture, they, the colors. Yeah, they analyze it. We are yeah. talking so much poop today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change it. I have uh, a question to you, Andreas. This is our third episode, right? Have you yeah. ever farted during our podcast? Not yet. Can uh, you cut it if it happens, please? <laughs> I would definitely definitely put it in guys i know i'm gonna regret this you will not you will not i have never ever wear a singlet in my life this is my never? first one yeah you see you just did something new it's nice when i was younger i would like to be a rock star my sister she bought a, a real leather jacket like with spikes and stuff i was 12 and i wanted to look like a rock guy and i went out and the people were laughing at me i think i was ridiculous just like that sometimes we care about others opinion too much let me ask people this question be honest do you think that i look weird with this on and i answer to this question yes you look so great i like it. <laughs> talking about clothes you had this i don't know if it's a tradition or something when we were younger my parents was dressing me up the same with my brother it happens <laughs> to you as well yes why parents do that guys if your parents please don't do that to to your children okay it's kind of cute though no 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 it's not I, I you know maybe parents just love their children too much i understand that i have so many photos dressed up like my brother <laughs> Exactly the same clothes. Me, my sister, and my brother. Can you imagine that? If you have children right now, are you going to do that? I think I would do it, Andreas. Parents make fun of their children. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened to me when I went on a movie date. Actually, the date was pretty smooth. I dated this guy for a couple months. I'm not sure if I could say this here. Come on. The guy I was dating is my best friend, partner, ex. Really? After like two months, we discovered it. Eventually, I broke up with him because of this. Really? It was a weird situation. After the movie date, I decided to offer him a ride. The moment when I went to my car, I couldn't even start my car. <gasps> it was an old car. You I left, left the lights on. What was his reaction? He was just laughing. He has the, the charging. Oh, the wires? The, the wires, wires. Yeah, yeah. For the okay, battery. Okay. He had it. Not in his okay. car, but at his house we were actually planning to get the wire to start my car but, but. <laughs> we ended up staying overnight do you still remember your first kiss yeah it was on my birthday i was 14 it was school love and then you kiss her yeah we just touch our lips like that like mm. Ah, okay. How about your first real kiss? It was really, really, really nice. Who did the first move? The other person. I was so passionate and excited that um, accidentally something happened. What happened? I, I just spread my happiness. Did I shock you, Rooney? I'm more impressed than shocked. But it can happen, Rooney, I'm sure. <laughs> I wish I yeah. could do that. So how about your first kiss, Rooney? It was a sweet moment. I was around 19. I had my first kiss in a park. You was waiting for that moment? Kind of. It just happened so naturally. As I remember myself, every person did the first move. I was like, mm, I don't want. When the other person did the first move, it turns yes, you off. I, yeah. You just realize it. Yeah, I just realized it. It's a moment of realization. Wow. Andreas, do you shave your armpit hair? Have you shaved it before? Yeah, every Why? summer. Because it's hot about you. I have never ever shaved it. Let me see. 
Okay, you don't have. It's not so hairy, you know. Do you prefer a guy with armpit hairs or without? Mm, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why I asked that question out of no. I realize it. It was so random. I like it. Ask me a random question right now. Mm, I can't because you asked me to ask you a random question. Oh, I don't know if you ever experienced this, Andrea. I used to be the type of person when I go into a store, mm-hmm. I have to buy something before I step out. Oh, you never go out of a store without buying nothing. Yes, I used to be that person. Even, Even you don't like something yeah even though i don't like anything i would just maybe get a plant t-shirt so how many t-shirts you have rooney <laughs> <laughs> I feel awkward if I don't buy anything. It's so stupid. Yeah, it is. It is. If I don't like, I just don't buy it. When, especially when the salesperson start greeting me. I was like, oh no, I have to get something now. Maybe this is a strategy from the shops. They ask people if they need help. So they, they will make buy. you feel awkward. Oh my God. We just discovered another thing. They will just keep promoting it. When I first mm-hmm. went to Greece and I saw homeless people or people there selling stuff mm-hmm. and I was buying from everyone. One guy, he was pretending poor and at night we saw him in the club doing this with money, Ronnie. He was a scammer. I spent way too much money on loading before. Okay. It's a really bad habit. A bad habit I have even mm-hmm. now, Ronnie. I'm giving money to my mom and she buys clothes for me and she knows exactly what I like. I don't even buy the clothes. This part is the same with your ear. Really? It's, it's a cloth. Uh, this part? Yeah, if you put it in. Do you have a trouser there? Yeah. So. Yeah, just put it in. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. I have to try every single clothes before I buy it. We're just different. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Do you buy clothes often, Rudy? Like twice a year. Because there's some people buying clothes like every month, Rudy, or every week. They buy something new. Or... My mom, Andreas. Really? Every week? Every three to four days. How many pairs of shoes you have there? I think three. How about your mom? More than 300. Wait, 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 wait. No, Rooney. She, she need a room only for shoes. Guys, I actually did a YouTube video before tidying up my mom's shoes. If you're interested, you can go to my YouTube video to watch it. Have you experienced something on the stage? Yeah, it happens to me. I was wearing clothes for the last scene at the second scene. Did you ever had a funny moment while you were working? Mm, not funny moment, but awkward moment. I experience this a lot, especially when I'm recording with a strangers. When they are being super nice to me, I didn't know how to end the conversation. Just let me know the worst. This guy was chatting with me and he's a really nice guy. I think we have been talking talking for more than almost two hours, Andreas. I just couldn't handle it anymore. I pretend that I was lagging. What? You do that to me, please. Uh, for how long are you doing this? I mean, drawing people? Yeah, I uh, love drawing people. Uh, hello, uh, can you hear me? Okay, hello? and and I want to ask you, hello? That, uh, when, um, when are you going, when are you, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear can me? You he- and then I just skip him. I'm sure that people will understand that. We always try to escape from this kind of situation. I remember one time, the whole family with my siblings and parents, we went to a relative's house. I'm not sure if you have this kind of uh, relative that you don't... I know, Rooney. I know know exactly what you mean. (laughs) Yes. We were there and me and my siblings Mm. want to go back home so badly. I asked my dad to pretend that someone called him. Even with the phone calls, after 20 minutes, we only able to get out. We had this family. We know that when they come, we all know how long it's going to be. Once my mom was really sleepy, he said to my father, Nico, uh, I will go to sleep. Bye bye. And she went to sleep. And then they decide to stay more. <laughs> so Rooney, he was here like eight hours. Rooney, Rooney, listen, yeah. I was keeping this the best one. I was 14 years old. I was in the national team doing karate. They bring the trainer of whole Europe. So this person was so important. He came here to make a master class. I was waiting for this guy. I went to the changing room to just wear my clothes. He was talking to me like, um, I think your punch need this and stuff. And while we were talking and I was focused on him, like I was hanging from his words. He just, and no one did, and I was shocked. And I was like, uh, 
okay, that's my idol and I want to be like him. And I suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribing. Yes, thank you guys so, so much. Also, guys, if you want to watch the full version of this podcast, make sure to check our Patreon. Thank you all so, so much for supporting our podcast here. We will try our best to put up the best content for you all. I'm Andreas. I'm Rooney. And you just watched the Macaroni, Macaroni Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you all soon. It was awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we're recording. Can I see you? Like, make a turn, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense now because you are a top. <laughs>